Yo, what's up guys, welcome to my channel. If you happen to stop by here and you clicked on it, you had to subscribe, man. I'm sorry, it's YouTube policy. Did you read it? Nah, I'm just kidding. Yo, man, but I'll be grateful, man. And I thank you guys if you do um, subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell, because I'm gonna try to drop videos as much as I can when I do have some downtime. If you have a particular video, a particular subject you want me to talk about, leave it down below, man. You know what I'm saying? I'll help you out the best that I can. I'll make a video when I can. And uh, I enjoy helping you guys, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, thank you again for clicking on here. Thank you for stopping by and watching my video. And this is for radiology students or um, if you decide to get into the radiology program. So anyway, today I want to talk to you guys about um, when you're a student, when, when does a technologist allow you to do things on your own? Um, and to be honest, when you're a student, even though you've done an exam five times, 10 times, you will never be alone per se, you know? So say for instance, a portable, right? Like a little portable machine or whatever. And um, you go in, and for the people that don't know how to do what's a portable machine, I'll I'll make a video about that. Anyway, it's a little machine, go do a portable. And you see you see the tech, you know, he's explained to you, you do, a, you do a chest or whatever, and you go three times. He might trust you to push the machine and to set everything up, but he would not trust you alone for him to stay in the department and for you to go on your own to the ER and do it. Different places do different things, you know, it depends what hospital you're in. If you're in a small, a smaller hospital and everybody kind of knows everybody, there's a 90% chance they'll be like, you know what, you've been here long enough, I trust you, go ahead and do this chest x-ray, you know what I mean? And you feel that, that empowerment, like, oh, I can do an x-ray on my own. And it, it, it is, it is, it's satisfying. You know, but um, when you're in the big facilities and there's more um, policies, there's more, you know, guidelines you have to follow, there's no way they're ever gonna let you do anything on your own, even though they trust you and they know you can do it, but they're always gonna be by your side. They're always gonna be next to you. And trust me, man, as a student, you're gonna want that. And sometimes even as a, just a regular tech, you're gonna want another tech with you because you don't know what you're gonna get yourself into, especially when you do morning portables. When you do morning portables, man, you go to the ICU um, and uh, CV ICU, and you have all these different depart departments up there. And these patients are, they're, for, first of all, they're medicated, you know, so they're not even gonna help you. And some patients are, are, are big patients, you know, three, 400 pounds. And you have to think about it. You're by yourself, you have to sit there and lift this patient up, put the cassette, you know, the plate behind their back to do a chest X-ray. There's no way you're gonna do that alone, you know? And then they have all these tubes and all these IVs everywhere, you know? So that's another reason you never go alone anywhere. If possible, you know, um, you always wanna take at least two texts, you know what I mean? So you don't ever have to do anything alone. But anyway, back to the student part. Yeah, you will never, they will never leave you, leave you, to, leave you to do anything alone, unfortunately. And um, that's just part of it, being a student. But once you're alone and once you pass that registry, once you get hired, you uh, you have that sense of empowerment to be like, oh man, I'm a tech now. But then again, you're like, oh, I'm a tech now. I, I, you know, Not that you can't ever ask for help, but you're gonna be expected to know what to do. You know what I'm saying? 90% of the time. Nobody's perfect, man. Don't ever think that. Nobody's perfect. It's okay to ask for questions. It's okay to ask questions. It's okay to ask for help. But, um, you know, there, but you always have your super techs that know everything. <laughs> That's in every hospital, every department, you know, so don't ever take offense to that. If you're like me, I'm not a super tech. I, I still ask questions. I'm not the best, man, but you know, I, I, and, and I don't treat people um, beneath me either. Even if you're a student, I still treat you with respect. If you're a senior tech, whatever, anybody in general, man. If you know me personally, man, you know how I am. But anyway, man, this is for the students. So if this helped you, leave a comment and like the like the video and if it didn't help you dislike the video i don't know that's the only way we're gonna get better with these videos right anyway guys thank you so much for watching leave a comment if you want to talk talk about anything make a video about anything again thank you guys for watching